Now that our example project is finished, I would like to export it as a complete film so that I can watch it elsewhere and also share it with others. One of the nicest ways to export a project is to burn it to disk as a DVD or Blu-ray disk directly from within EDIUS. I can call this function up by going to Menu, File, Export, and then choose the Burn to Disk function. Should you be unable to use this function, then you have a project that is not DVD or Blu-ray compatible. If this is the case, then you should go into Settings and under Project Settings specify DVD or Blu-ray compatible settings. You can modify the settings with Change Current Settings. Usually, however, DVD or Blu-ray compatibility is guaranteed when using standard settings. And I can call this function up here from the menu or via the key command Shift F11. After a short wait, the EDIUS Burn to Disk dialog will appear and you are presented with quite a number of possibilities. Again, for this beginner's tutorial, I just want to deal with the simplest method, which will be to just burn to disk without a complex menu as a DVD or Blu-ray disk. In the subsection Style, I can specify if I want to burn a DVD or Blu-ray disk, but obviously, I will need the proper hardware, such as a DVD or Blu-ray burner. In my case, even though I was working on an HD project, I can choose the DVD output option, and my HD film will be automatically reformatted to the DVD format. I will use this method, output to DVD, and we can see a preview menu here, which I don't want to delve into now, so I will deactivate the Use Menu option here and the film will be burnt directly to disk as is. Now we can go to the Write tab and we can see here the information concerning how much space my film will take up on the disk. And as my basic project is rather small, we can see that it takes up only a tiny portion of the disk. Next, I can give my DVD a name and I will just type in Airport. Now, if I had multiple burners, I could specify which drive I wish to burn to on condition that a correct disk is inserted into that drive. I'll do that now, and we can see that I can finish the process by clicking the button Create Disk, and my film will be burnt to disk.